Hello. I'd like to begin by asking a few questions. Have you ever wished that you could find data tied to midwifery within your region or your country? Would you like to see the data that was collected for the State of the World's Midwifery Report? Or did the theme of the International Day of the Midwife in 2020, which was follow the data, inspire you to wonder how you too could follow the data? My name is Jessica White, and I am pleased to tell you about the Global Midwives Hub, an online digital resource that shares data and data visualizations to support midwives as they advocate for their profession and for safe delivery services. So let's go ahead and pivot to a PowerPoint. And today I would like to focus on a couple of topics, namely the use of data as a tool, the State of the World's Midwifery Report and Data, and the Global Midwives Hub. Our lives are rich with data, and specifically geographic data. Where a person lives is closely linked to their health and longevity. If you think about it, geographic data is everywhere, occurring throughout our daily lives. Geographic data can be analyzed to better understand the world in which we live and help us to make more informed, data-driven decisions. Visualizing geographic data can demonstrate where communities are being underserved. If we consider different categories of data, such as the midwifery workforce, for example, we can ask questions that help us to identify opportunities for improvement. The questions on this slide can be answered using geographic data at various scales, such as regional, country, and even at the subnational level. As important as the data itself and what it is measuring is the importance of its ease of access. The best data in the world will not be useful unless it is shared with those that can make use of it. Data that is publicly available is termed open data. When we talk about open data, we are referring to data that is accessible, collaborative, discoverable, and explorable. By sharing open data, communities can be on the same page of understanding, which allows for increased trust, stronger networks, improved decision-making, and contributes to better health outcomes. So how does this relate to midwifery? Well, in 2021, the World Health Organization, or WHO, the United Populations Fund, or UNFPA, and the International Confederation of Midwives, or ICM, launched the State of the World's Midwifery Report, referred to as the SOMI. Data provided in the SOMI can strengthen efforts for evidence-based policymaking that supports global midwifery and improved health outcomes. There are two data sets that went into the creation of the 2021 SOMI, namely, data collected by the WHO in the National Health Workforce Accounts System, and data collected through surveys done by ICM. And the latter is what we'll be focusing on today. So to understand the global midwifery workforce, ICM shared four mini surveys, each with a different focus on midwifery to midwives associations around the world. These surveys focus on four of the 10 core elements that compose the ICM professional framework, namely association, education, leadership, and regulation. Direct Relief is proud to have supported ICM in the creation and data collection of the surveys informing the SOMI and for the ability to create open data from the data collected in these surveys. After the four ICM mini surveys were completed, we collected the data and visualized it by creating a map. The Global Midwives Associations map shows all midwives associations with ICM membership. And if we select a country from the menu in the upper right-hand corner, for example, Namibia, uh, we will see the information that was submitted to the SOMI by the Independent Midwives Association of Namibia. In the tabs on the lower right-hand corner, you can browse the four core elements of the IACM professional framework. 
Uh, also, you can see uh, for each country if the data has been validated by a competent authority. So now that we've talked about the potential of open data, let's talk about the Global Midwives Hub. As an online digital resource, the Hub offers the things that we have already discussed, such as a link to the SOMI, open data to support advocacy, and data visualizations in the form of maps. The Global Midwives Hub offers even more functionality, and I would like to quickly review some of these highlights during the remainder of our time together. First and foremost, the Global Midwives Hub offers multilingual translation. Clicking on the circular arrow on the left-hand side of the page allows for the text on the page to be translated to any of the languages available in Google Translate. There is one exception, which are the data visualizations. Data visualizations will be translated into both French and Spanish in the coming weeks. While we don't have time to get into detail on how to use the hub to its full potential today, I would like to refer you to the Learn New Skills section of the site. While it is still under development, we are looking forward to releasing training tutorials to share helpful tips and tricks for making the most of the Global Midwives Hub. ICM's professional framework has 10 core elements, four of which contributed to the SOMI and are featured on the Global Midwives Hub. Clicking on any of the elements in this framework will take you to a page that shares high-level findings from the SOMI report for the selected theme. Here, we're looking at the theme of education, with the data collected in the education mini-survey visualized and contextualized, um, the resulting open data, and the ability to explore this open data further in a map viewer. At the time of this recording, the Global Midwives Hub currently offers 75 different midwifery-related layers that have been organized into six different categories. If we click one of these categories to explore the open data it contains, the midwifery workforce category, for example, we will see the SOMI data that we have previously discussed. So within five clicks of a mouse, users can see open data layers, where the data was originally sourced from, the data attributes, and use this data for their own purposes either by making maps or other data visualizations for online sharing or by for downloading for offline usage. In talking to midwives from around the world, they are most interested to know what is going on in their geographic region. For this purpose, the Global Midwives Hub offers region pages. Clicking on Europe, for example, the user will find high-level findings specifically for Europe, open data specific for the region, meaning geographical data at the region, country, or at the subnational level, and a story map demonstrating and contextualizing all of the data collected for the State of the World's Midwifery Report for that particular region. So we've talked a bit about different data sets and data visualizations. The Global Midwives Hub offers user logins, which provide users the ability to go deeper with data and data visualizations by saving their favorite existing data products and by creating their own data sets, maps, and mapping applications to move the needle forward on maternal health. The screenshot on the right shows a hub user on Africa GeoPortal, another ArcGIS hub, whose public data visualizations have been viewed over 8,000 times. User logins for the Global Midwives Hub can be created about midway down the homepage of the Hub, right above the returning user login section. Again, the team is looking forward to sharing more step-by-step -step instruction on how to make the most use of your Hub user account login. In addition to having the ability to create and share your own content, several midwives associations are collaborating with the team behind the Global Midwives Hub to use data and data analysis and visualization to advocate for the profession of midwifery and improve delivery services in their countries. 
we call these midwives associations hashtag mapping midwives. As hashtag mapping midwives, these midwives associations are leaders in their field, improving maternal and newborn health by advocating for their profession. They meet with the team behind the Global Midwives Hub for brainstorming and support, and their finished project is shared on a profile page on the Global Midwives Hub for international recognition and elevation of their work. We have two examples of hashtag mapping midwives projects to share today, uh, one from Malawi and one from Namibia. The Association of Malawian Midwives wanted to understand health service availability throughout the country and which subset of the population was further than an eight kilometer travel distance to a health facility. To answer this question, we mapped health facilities and population. This resulted in a dashboard that shows at a subnational level by district, the population that is within and outside of this travel distance. We also created a data set ranking health accessibility for populations by district that identifies opportunities for improvement that Malawian midwives will be sharing with their Ministry of Health to advocate for improved health access. The Independent Association of Namibia is looking to connect with midwives to better understand the landscape of midwifery throughout the country. As such, they collected and mapped supporting data showing health facilities and the population of women of childbearing age throughout the country. They then created a survey, which is about to be shared with in-country health practitioners. In learning about these hashtag mapping midwives, are there any ideas that come to mind of how your midwives association could become hashtag mapping midwives? Maybe you have a question that you would like to answer or some data that you would like to create for your country. Last and definitely not least, we would love to hear from you. There is a survey on the Global Midwives Hub that allows for you to connect with the team, express your interest in becoming hashtag mapping midwives, subscribe to the ICM newsletter, and so much more. Please do not be shy as the Global Midwives Hub was created as a tool to support you and your advocacy efforts. As we wrap up, I would like to take this opportunity to thank ICM for their partnership on this rewarding project. I would also like to thank the hashtag Mapping Midwives collaborators for their efforts and to thank you for your attention and the work you do. I look forward to seeing you on the Global Midwives Hub.